Hey everyone, so today I have an updated video to share with you guys on what's in my planner travel bag. If you watched my previous one that I posted a while back, you guys can tell I've definitely downsized a bit, which I'm super glad I did because just looking back at what I brought with me last time, a lot of the things I thought I was going to use, I didn't end up using and so on and so forth. So I've consolidated everything into this case right here. And this is the 100 pens case from Kipling. I've had it for quite some time already. So I have like an unboxing if you guys want to check it out. I'll link it up somewhere here. Um, but I love it. I love this case. I love the color, although I don't know if it's still around. So I don't know if it's discontinued because I did get it on sale a while ago. Um, but nonetheless, they do have a bunch of colors all the time, always different designs. So I'm going to go ahead and just get into this and show you guys what I brought with me. So one thing about this case I really do love is the zipper. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is pretty stuffed. Um, I could fit a little bit more in here, but I don't want to. Um, the zipper. The zipper is super awesome. It's definitely sturdy and it won't come apart. Like no matter how much you put in here, you could just push it down and it'll still um, close up, which is super awesome. So this is what it looks like opened up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start off with what I have on the left side. So here I have my bone folder. I have a Stedler um, marker or pen that I use for color coding. Um, I have a X-Acto knife and black marker, which I use for washi tape, a pair of scissors, and a bunch of um, my pen refills, which I'm currently using a Uniball Signo in 0 0.38 or 28, one of those, but these are just the refills. And then I have my tweezers and my Uniball Signo gel ink pen in white, which is my favorite. And then on the right side here, I have a bunch of my mild liner highlighters, which I use for color coding. I don't use um, like colored, different colored stamps any or stamping inks anymore. I think the markers are just a little bit more easier for me to carry around and stuff like that. So that's that. And then I have a Friction Ball Slim pen in 0 0.38. And if you're not familiar with this pen, it's um, an erasable pen. And then when you flip it over, I have this little sticker pocket that I got from Zinnia. Her shop is um, simpleheart.bigcartel.com. I'll link all that for you guys, but she sells a bunch of kawaii things in her shop. So if you're into that stuff, definitely check it out. But in here, I just store a bunch of my uh, masking stickers. Oh, and this ruler right here, this is an extra one for my planner. So I have that in there. And these are just random ones that I just pick. Uh, nothing too fancy. And then I have um, some sticky notes here as well. So these basically I just use for my notebook. So that's that. Then onto the main compartment right here. This is my bag filled with um, all the stamps that I brought with me. I'm not going to go through every single one. I don't know, maybe should I go through every single one? Maybe I will just to share with you guys the ones that I have and what I use. Majority of these are from either Studio L2E or Sweet Stamp Shop and V's Sweet Idea. Ideas. Yeah. <laughs> so this little bag right here um, is actually little pieces of stamps that I got from Mitts and I'll show you how it works later on but these are super cool. I I don't know if you guys, well if you did see my other video I have a Pebbles or Alpha, wait what is it? A Pebbles Alpha Roller Stamp and it was just too big to fit in here. Pretty much took up the whole space so I wanted to go with something a little bit more compact and smaller and these were perfect. So the stamps that I have in here All right, and I have it in this like Ziploc bag if you're wondering why I just wanted to put it in here because it's more flexible than putting it into like a container. Um, so the first one I have is from Sweet Stamp Shop. This is the Plan Home one. Then I have the Months. This one is Plan to Eat. I have Script Lower. Next one is Days Until. I have Title Script. Then plan to work and this one is plan fitness 
And then I also have um, stamps from Studio L2E. This one is an older set of hers, and I think this one is called um, Listed. Next one is called Planet. These are just little um, stickers that I use in my planner as well. I just put it in the bag. This stamp set is from V Sweet Ideas. This one is called Organize It Too. This is also another one from Sweet Stamp Shop, and this one's just called Sweet Stamps. This one is from Michaels. There's no specific name to this, but it was like part of their $1.50 section stamps. Actually, I think this is from Studio G, if I'm not mistaken. Last one is this one, and this is also from Michaels. Then I have my stamping ink pads. This one is from Stays On, and it's in jet black. And I have the VersaFine one in onyx black. This one is the Dewdrop Memento in gray flannel. And down here I have my stamping blocks. This one is from Sweet Stamp Shop. I love this one because it's like circular. And then I have the tiny one right here, which is from Michaels. On this side right here, I have my correction tape. It's a calf correction tape and an eraser, which is super awesome. I got this from Daiso. And the correction tape is pretty good. It doesn't skip. Then I have my little mini hole puncher. I didn't bring my six hole puncher this time, so this one will do. Then I have these two stamps right here. Um, this was from the couple stamp that I got from, I believe it was Amazon or Etsy, I forget, but this is just the couple one that I use for anything related to me and the hubby. And underneath all of that, you guys can see I have um, little sticky notepads. These were given to me from my friend Aurora, so thank you, Aurora. I use those ones and the pink ones and then this right here is a another stamping block which is super unique I love this thing it's it's just different and I'll show you guys how this works but I got this from Mitts so thank you Mitts for this um, this goes hand in hand with the stamps in here so basically how it works is you just pick whatever letters or numbers it comes with a bunch of letters and numbers but you just stick one of them into, or as many as you want, into the little hole right there. And basically you just stamp it on your paper. It's so cool because there's different, um, like, or there's a bunch of holes here on the this side, over here, here, here. It's just covered. So you could just fill it up with different letters and stuff like that or numbers and stamp away. It's pretty cool. So I love that it's compact and I don't have to bring my big roller with me so that's that last thing I have is this anchor stamp which is also given to me from mitts and I use this for anything related to the hubby so that's basically it you guys it's a very very simple I'm definitely trying to keep things a lot more simple when I'm planning and stuff to where I don't really have to think about how I'm going to decorate and so on and so forth. I promise you guys I will do a whole um, update and pretty much maybe share another um, layout or deco video, not really deco, but like a layout video with you guys just so you guys can see because I know quite a few of you have been asking. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions regarding anything that I mentioned, always feel free to leave a comment or message me and I will get back to you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.